Hi, I'm Mad King Corduroy, and this is Transcendental Airwaves. Today, I had a little error with my uh, 1983 PC Junior, and it was not reading the discs. I couldn't boot into DOS, which is a big deal, because you can't do anything with that, especially that unit of computer. There's no real, any other way to get information into there. So, what I did was take the disc out, because what was happening, it was reading, you were getting the light over here, it was accessing the drive, but it was acting like there was no disk in there. So, thinking the disk might be dead, I went on the internet and looked at how to refurbish it. It turns out, all you have to do, really, is, in most cases, I'm not saying in all cases, but in most cases, all you have to do is take this little thing off of here. The tiny tiny little screw we take off take that off that's your dust cover for the read write head as you can see here I'm just gonna move it up a little bit closer get it up there so you can see that little white platter down there underneath this thing has a strip of metal that you can see there that is your read or your write head because there's two different ones there's this one on top here which is activated when you drop the bar here in the front. Push that down. And it goes and drops this onto the floppy disk so that the media can be read. It's magnetic particles in this plastic platter that spins and you it moves back and forth and reads it. It you know, goes meh like this. It has a stepper motor, so it moves. But anyway, so... And a lot of times, these things haven't been cleaned since the 80s. So if you just go and you take some rubbing alcohol, and see I got some alcohol on there. It's not wet, because I don't want it dripping all over the place, and it's going to evaporate and leave a film. What I'm going to do is just kind of get in there and wipe those heads down. And so I just kind of kind of lift this head up because you can actually lift it up and out of the way and then you can get at this one and just kind of scrub it down Ooh. as you can see it's a stepper motor, motor motor so it moves and there's another one down in there you can see it right there actually you can get in there and just kind of wipe them both down and just make sure that you don't actually leave anything on there. No fuzzes or anything. And that should be it. You can actually pop it right into the computer then after doing that. And it should read your disks. Or at least that's what happened when I did. Uh, so I'll just show you that real quick. Pop it back into the computer. Okay, and okay, and as you can see here, I got the PC Junior in front of me. And I've taken the liberty of putting the dust cover back on. I didn't show that, but there really is nothing to it. One screw comes off, comes back on, put the screw back in. It's that easy. So I'm just going to put this back in here. PC Junior has this nice little tray that every sits, everything sits in. Blah, blah, blah. And I just hooked that from the floppy controller to there. Actually, I'm going to do the power first. I'm just going to attach the power supply like that. And the pin card connector like that and there is actually no um, anything holding that in so you just kind of do that and there is a bezel oh, there it is a bezel the bezel for the PC junior boom okay let me take out the cartridge basic and then Put the bezel back into the PC Junior, onto the PC Junior, I mean. Might take a little longer than expected. <laughs> I've broken a couple of these tabs because it's, it's really stupid. There's no screws or anything. It just slides in there. It's got these stupid little plastic tabs. Is that in there right? 
This doesn't feel like it's in there, right? It is, though. Why does it look like it's bulging out? Okay. Now, that is, that is not the original drive for the PC Junior. That is a replacement drive. I didn't do that. The original owner must have done that because this drive should be black and it should be IBM. It is instead gray. Well, it's kind of beige-ish now because it's smoke film and everything else. And the lighting doesn't help, which is all the way over there. But um, this is a Japanese um, drive. It's a, it's a Toshiba drive. Uh, so it's, it's not the original drive. So it's all hooked up now, power supply there, all good. And what I need to do is just flatten this guy out and then go get the original IBM cover plate and pop that right over the top. There really is no reason to show you the internals of it working because I can just show you the screen of it working in DOS. Are you kidding me? Come on. No. Aha! That's what I did wrong. Alrighty then. Okay, now it'll work. There's a little piece of metal that it sits in over here. If you get that wrong, it is not going to fit! So, just slide that over here. So you learned something very valuable today, as well as I did. I learned something today that I did not know. And these things are prone to fall off. I'm going to glue that back on. I should put that in a safe place, but I'm going to put it right there for now. Yeah. Okay, now for the final yay or nay on to whether or not it works. Turn on screen. Get out the boot disk. Right there in the front. IBM DOS. 2.1 and supplemental files for the auto exec of the Tecmar right on the side, which expands it to 640k of RAM, which I did not know I had previously because I didn't have the power supply, and you need the power supply to use that RAM. So here I will flip it on. Count up the RAM. Previously, it would only boot to basic, cartridge basic, or ROM basic. And now, as you will probably see, it's going to load DOS, which it is definitely doing. You can tell because it's thinking about it now. Okay, it's loaded DOS. Well, it's still working on it. It's doing the auto exec right now. Looking at the Tecmar. Okay. Okay. I have to set the clock. I have to replace the battery in the Tecmar unit. sure what that means the 460k I emailed someone and he has yet to respond all right as you can see it loaded up to us which means I can pull this out and I can play a video game or something or anything I can start a word right and just to prove that it is indeed working I'll put in Road War 2000 quite a good game and does not take much RAM to run. I'll leave that out, but I'll keep it right here. Directory. And as you can see, I have to type start. And it's reading from disk.
Road War 2000. Yep, so my PC Junior is back in working condition after I cleaned the heads. I was really worried. I thought the drive was dead. Um, so if you're having trouble with a drive or something like that, um, just clean it. Maintain it. You know, I learned a very less valuable lesson. Maintain your equipment. You know, pride of ownership. No, I didn't know those had to be cleaned, um, the actual read-write heads. I've heard about doing that with uh, cassette drives, 8-track players. I have done it with 8-track players. I've never in my life taken apart a floppy disk drive. So, there's a first for everything, and you learn something new every day. Alrighty then, well, I'm going to play some Road War 2000, and I'll catch you in a different video. Check out my other videos if you want to see some more stuff about the PC Junior, old equipment, or some of my music. Um, I've been Mad King Corey, and this has been Transcendental Airwaves. Thank you very much.